this video shows you how to deactivate the performance post. But first of all, I want to show how it's activated because some do it unintentionally. If you are registering for 20 feet, you will see this screen. And then you say, okay, let's add a Twitter account. And then you click on authorize and have to authorize the account. And after that, you will be redirected into 20 feet. And here you'll get these two options. Um, set this account as my free account, which is highly recommended. And send a weekly performance post for this account. If you activate this, then we'll tweet for you once a week um, what was on Twitter for your last week. If you click on this question mark, you'll see a documentation page that we created to demonstrate how the performance post works. Let's scroll down here. See, this is an example from Martin Reed. And uh, so if you don't want us to update or to send an update for you once a week, uh, don't activate this button. If you did like this and saved, then your account will be in this list here. And you can click on Twitter to see your charts, which is gonna take a while uh, for me here. I can click on that. And whenever you go on the bottom of the page of your Twitter account, you can deactivate it there. Ah, sorry, <laughs> first you have to choose your account and then you can deactivate it. Look here, it's activated now. And if I click here, deactivate like this, you can deactivate it very easily. So the only thing you have to do to deactivate this tweet is to go on Twitter, choose the account you want to deactivate the performance post for, uh, go to the bottom of the page and activate um, or deactivate the performance post. Okay, that's pretty much it. Bye.